how you're doing. This is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I have a package. A little bit worse for wear. Uh, hang on while I get this out of the packaging and we'll go through it. Okay, unboxed. Here we go. This is actually from Treasure Studio Arts uh, and they're based in Australia. I will say right off the bat, it's been... I ordered this on the 26th of April. It's now the 25th of June. So basically, it's taken two months to get here. I, When you purchase from Treasure Studio Arts, it's all in US dollars, even though they're an Australian company. So what's in here was $47.50 US. I did order a couple of other trays, but they are still yet to come. So I paid 61 US dollars for this. Now, 61 US, this had to get transferred. So I have the Aussie dollar. I've gone through PayPal. So $61 plus the international transaction fee. Um, converted to Aussie. So I paid $100.88 for this and an additional $2.50 because it was an international transfer fee to buy something in Australia. Okay, so what did I get? It's a 50 by 70. Size-wise, it looks promising. Sorry, guys, I'm filming on a camera, so you're not seeing the full thing. And we'll take it out of the box. It is a bit banged up. Oops, let's turn that one off. Okay, so let's see how this goes. A little bit crinkled here. Should be okay though. Okay. Didn't order. This is not one that you'd get in your normal state. Okay. Oh, this is not a picture that I would normally get. So, box be gone. Have a look at the toolkit. Oh, that's pretty. So, the toolkit comes with the three placer, nine placer, drill tray, a, I like these, although I don't use them, um, the squishy, wax, drill pen with a nine placer, okay, hang on, that's a seven placer, and that's a nine placer, and tweezers, oh, 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 and these are the tweezers. With that lovely little flat end okay um i can't remember what i i remember the shark picture but i can't remember the uh, actual whether it was round or square so we'll soon find out but here we go i thought i'd go for something funny no i'll try and pop the picture in into the video somewhere for you to see okay so let's open this little one up so it is from Treasure Studio Arts. Okay, out it comes. Okay, we shall unravel this. I'll get the drills out. I don't know how much of that picture you're seeing. Okay, I did. I ordered a square. Um, I'm back to attempting to. I'm trying. I'm back to getting my faith in squares again. So it is a square has 35 colors okay. it has an inventory sheet if I look for okay so there we go treasure studio eights we create magic so it's a square 50 by 70 all of the details there make sure you check all the colors and diamonds are supplied um it's great to have but this is this would be actually this is in black and white i will say that this if you're going to do an inventory sheet uh do it in color okay because what i now will do is i will actually photo photocopy that or scan that and print that out because i need the colors i like the colors but there is 35 colours. So before I show you the picture, which I'm going to try and let relax a bit. Hang on. 
I'll try and get that to relax a bit before I actually go any further. Oh, being in baggies, this will be good. Okay, now the question is, what order are they in? Do I just pour them out? Four, four, five, five, one, seven. Okay, these look like these are bagged in order with the exception of the top couple. So, let me uh, do my usual thing. there's a party happening in quite a few of them where I've got different colors in quite a few so uh, <laughs> there's three bags at least that are mixed up four got different colors in five but there's a bit of a party going on okay but all the colors are there so that's all good Okay, now they're back in the bag, all nice and organised. You can really see the colours there. Pretty much definitely an ocean theme there. Okay, so for the picture. <laughs> this was just, I think because my other half sees me doing diamond paintings and he doesn't see anything that he really likes. And he likes fishing, um, so okay so yeah i thought i'd do this one let's have a close look at so it's almost a a vinyl you can hear that it's a vinyl it's very thick right. hang on just trying to lift this lift up okay okay so Oh, okay. Just leaving this plastic on doesn't work. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Symbols seem clear. And I can see that at the background is probably close to the matching colours to what the drills are. Um, this is not poured glue. Uh, if it is, they're really good at cutting their plastic, but that's double-sided adhesive. But if, when you see the covering and the glue lining up perfectly, that usually means it's a double-sided tape that's laid down on these. Um, yeah, looking forward to working on this one. So here we go. They're supposed to be 30% extra diamonds. Customer number one priority, money back, 100% guarantee. Just looking at these couple of bits here, because this is not poured glue, I will pull this back and have a look because with... Okay, and this is why one of the things that... Okay, you need to be careful. Bear with me. It's a very thick plastic, very thick plastic. extremely tacky which means those drills once they're down they will be down okay. oh can really feel that okay
for that semi pulled that back into line at the back there um, so we'll see how it goes when I work on it this will hang up for a little bit to put some weight on it actually I am I'm gonna pull this one back as well I always get nervous on this this is this type of plastic is one Work on top of this. Bear with you guys. Okay. Okay. That that looks a bit better now. Um, you notice that I used the foam roller that I got from within other diamond painting companies, from other diamond painting companies. I'm not using the roller with any pressure. The roller is purely just to keep that up so that I don't, so the ends don't fold, fold over. Um, but this looks like there's some good colour blocking, good colour blocking detail up here and uh, detail down here. But it would be nice if this was in colour because then you could really see what it looks like. I'll see if I can find their um, find the image on the website, but I like that. Be interesting to see how the fish come out and the coral down here. But yeah, you can really you can see what is meant to be. Um, you can see that this is the rays of light coming through the water on either side of him. So you guys. Treasure Studio Arts, yet again, I paid, had to purchase this in US and ended up, you know, paid more than $100 for this and two of the large diamond painting trays. So that's 100 US. Um, two months to get here, which in this climate is pretty much what I'd put in the standard because it's just standard postage. Um, yeah, um, when you buy something from Australia, you don't expect to have to pay an international transaction fee. It would be nice if, as an Australian company, they actually put it where it's in Aussie dollar, um, so that then we're buying from Australia. It's This is the equivalent to us buying from the US, in my mind, because I'm paying US dollars and I'm paying a US, I'm paying a tran foreign transaction for something that is not even in, for, for something that's purchased by a company that's in Australia. Um, yeah, uh, that, 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 that's just my opinion on the uh, financial side of things. If you buy something from one country and you're paying in a foreign country's um, currency, you shouldn't have to. There should have been an option. Um, but yeah, there wasn't, I didn't see one. Okay, guys, I will leave it there. I will say thank you for joining me. Stay tuned for the kitting up of this one. Uh, that's if I decide to actually kit it up properly. Um, and you'll see me working on this one. This one I think I'll use on my short whip and chats and go from there. Um, just a quick look at some of these symbols because you can't really have a look on the, um, on the sheet, inventory sheet. So if we go looking at the symbols, they're pretty standard symbols. What do we see? Nothing weird. Um, no S's, which is good, because S and 6. And G's, G is good, that's a capital G. Um, there's no chance of mistaking those symbols at all. Um, so guys, yeah. Yet again, thank you for joining me for this little unboxing. It's been a while since I've unboxed a diamond painting that is not from Diamond Shop. So here we go, there we go. Um, comment, what do you think? What do you think about um, this picture? <laughs> it's not my standard, it's still an animal, but it's not my standard. Um, so yeah guys, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, leave your comments uh, if you are um, new to my new and just checking this out.
please uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell down below so you're notified when I do an upload. And I will say, guys, thank you for watching. Bye for now.